It's a great day in the neighborhood to socialize with your neighbors, share some food, gossip about your husbands, and even eavesdrop on your next door neighbor. Well, did you know there's a modern way to do all this using a new app called Nextdoor? And unlike Facebook, it actually has useful information because all members within a neighborhood must be verified residents so it's not riddled with spam. And if you're a business, all that data behind Nextdoor can be a treasure to help you grow locally. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract some of this very valuable information from your own Nextdoor neighborhood. Things like business emails, phone numbers, websites, real estate listing and prices, and other elements going on you may want to know about, like events and what people are talking about in groups in your neighborhood. And we're going to do all this in accordance with Nextdoor's terms of service, which I haven't checked, but most likely prohibits any sort of automated access or scraping. Instead, we're going to use the site manually and then post-process the data we record from our web traffic afterwards. Relax, it's actually really easy. The issue with automated access or scraping of Nextdoor data is that I don't think they want us doing that. And they added some technical limitations. It looks like this person here on GitHub tried, but they ran into some trouble. And he did build a library. I'm going to link this below. It uses a tool called Selenium, which involves running a actual browser and using code to drive that browser. But it gets very messy and breaks easily because you have to deal with a lot of elements from Nextdoor's website that are constantly changing and breaking. So I do not recommend this method. But you can go to nextdoor.com and right click anywhere on the page and hit inspect to open up your web development console. From there, you can check out the network tab and see all of the raw structured data that Nextdoor is sending to you, which you can post process into more useful JSON files or CSV files I'm going to show you in this video. So here, while my network tab is open, I'm just refreshing the home feed and I found this network request here called personalized feed. And when I check out the response, it's structured data corresponding to all of the items in my newsfeed posted by my fellow neighbors. So I can go through all this and I can even go to the response button and then save this as a file to my desktop. Here's a more practical example with real estate. So here are some homes that I can't afford. And when I scroll through the map, it's going to show me more homes. Now, if I inspect my network traffic like I did last time and then begin scrolling around, I'm going to collect data from next door that's usable if I wanted to scrape it or do something else with it for personal or private business use. So here I'm scrolling around the map and I'll see the network tab populate with more and more requests. So I'm going to scroll a couple times and get two requests back. So instead of downloading each JSON file individually and then processing it, I'm going to show you a free tool that I have. Well, part of it is free. That'll allow us to post process this data more easily and convert it to a CSV file for easy processing in Excel or Google Sheets. So here are both the raw requests and I can see it's all JSON data, but this isn't extremely useful. So I'm going to export it as a HAR file here, clicking this button in the web inspector. And then using this freemium tool I provide, I just drag and drop the HAR file in here. The free tool then groups together similar requests so I can see this group here of those two listings. So I can click the blue link and download that raw data. Or if I have a paid Steve C data plan, I can parse this into more usable collections. Disclaimer, I own the Steve C data platform, making this a very biased opinion. But I can see the platform combined those two requests together for a total of 192 listings. And some of them are going to be duplicates, but we can worry about that later. And I can download this as a CSV file. So I'll get back the address, the coordinates, price, everything that Nextdoor showed me on their website publicly. And we can also apply this approach with businesses on Nextdoor who wouldn't want to be listed on this directory. So I'm just going to search for something like beer and I'll get back businesses that match that search. Basically a bunch of bars and restaurants by me. So I click on see more. So I load more of them into the network tab and I'm going to keep scrolling and loading some more just to build my list of multiple requests. Once I'm done, I'm going to go and click my export HAR button so I can combine all of those JSON responses into a single HAR file, then upload it into the Steve C data platform, parse it, and I can download all of these businesses in a single CSV file. And I can see here that Nextdoor generally gives us the phone number, website, and even email address if shared publicly from this pagination data. 
So this is very useful if you're trying to do any sort of local outreach, just please do not spam and send unsolicited messages. They also have a marketplace where users can post items for sale or give away free stuff. So let's scroll through this to collect their data and then export it as a HAR file. Then let Steve C parse it out and see if we can find some free stuff. So here I can see there's a column for price and I'm gonna download this as a CSV file and then sort it by price ascending first. So theoretically zero should be on top. And I see we have a few free items and I can click on the share item link and we can check these out. All right, a free pen and pad in Little Wallet. This is another way to collect data by just writing everything down. And let's check out the next free listing. And ooh, a Samsung Galaxy screen protector. I'm definitely gonna pick that one up. We can do the same for events. We just click on events, scroll, download the HAR file, upload it and parse. And again, part of the DC tool is free. I'll link to it in the description so you can download the JSON files for free it's just the CSV conversion that is a paid feature. And lastly, they also have groups, which I think is cool because unlike Facebook, I know these people are actually real. So you can scroll through. You could scrape the member list, but I'm not going to do that out of respect for privacy. Uh, but you can if you scroll through the posts in any given group you may be interested in, like if it's related to your business and you want to capture the conversation, you can use this approach here. Just keep scrolling and then export the HAR file parse it and Steve C will give you back the CSV collections on the paid plan, or you can download the individual JSON files on the free plan. But before we go, I had to point out this directory feature. So there's actually a list of all your neighbors you could collect using this method, but that would be incredibly creepy to show you here on YouTube. So I'm going to show you the pet directory instead. Look at all these pets in my neighborhood. And yes, you can use the HAR file scraper with them if you'd like a list of pets in your neighborhood. So I hope you learned how incredibly useful Nextdoor can be for your business, and I encourage you to go and sign up if you haven't for Nextdoor. If you want to scrape the data from their site, you can see the link in the description to my platform. Again, disclaimer, it's a paid product to get the CSVs out, but it's free to just get the JSON files out. And with this Nextdoor data, please keep in mind that it's not exactly public because people posted it with the expectation of privacy within their own neighborhood. It's not like Twitter where everything is posted around publicly for anyone to see. There is some expectation of privacy on Nextdoor and if you go and republish that data publicly, then you'd be violating someone's expectation of privacy. As you saw in this video, I whited out any personal information to protect people's privacy. I did show business names, but I think that's appropriate because most businesses uh, want to advertise publicly on Nextdoor for the publicity. And remember, always consult competent legal counsel if you're not sure of your situation. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this data can help you grow your business in new and creative ways you may have not considered before, not knowing this was all possible. So please check out the links in the description. Like if you learned something, subscribe if you want to see more of me, and stay amazing and stay data-driven.